Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. Today we're taking a look at the second generation Apple Pencil. Now this retails for like $130. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. And uh, yeah, it only works with the new iPad Pro. So you can't get this pencil for your previous iPad Pro. And you also can't use the first generation Apple Pencil on this new iPad Pro. So something to keep in mind if you have the older Apple Pencil, you might wanna sell it with your iPad because it no longer works. And uh, it makes sense because you can't even charge it because this doesn't have a lightning connector to charge it. But uh, yeah, we have some pamphlets here, of course, some documentation about the Apple Pencil, nothing really special. And in here this time, you're not gonna get any dongles or cables or anything like that because this charges magnetically or wirelessly, I guess you could say, with the iPad. So let's go ahead and remove this film here. Uh, first off, it does have a really nice matte finish this time around, and uh, it feels much nicer. And uh, it looks really nice too. Yeah, it has a flat edge here, so of course it's not gonna roll off the table, which is great, which it was a problem with the previous version. You don't have any caps or any loose ends here, which is also great. I didn't notice, it doesn't look like, no wait, let me double check here, just to know. Because it's, let's see if it comes with extra nibs in here. And, uh, nope. No extra nibs for the, of course, the tip of the pencil when it wears out. So, I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty sure the previous gen came with one. So, huh, interesting. So, yeah, no extra nibs. So, keep that in mind. They do wear out over time. And let me see if it's still removable like the previous one. Yep, you just unscrew that and it removes. So, not sure why they didn't include it this time, but let's go ahead and attach it right here. So you can see that little thing. It just clicks right on there and let's see what happens here. If the iPad recognizes it. Yeah, there we go. It says Apple Pencil connecting or ready to connect. It shows it right there. I put it upside down, but whatever. Would you like to connect? Yes. Welcome to Apple Pencil. Double tap to switch between and uh, that's it. It's connected. So let's see. Every time you connect it, it shows up there. It has 54% battery life right now. And of course it can connect either way, which is nice. And it's on there pretty good. Good enough. Of course I did it pretty hard there. I mean, of course, if you're lugging it around, moving it around, it's good enough. Let's check it out here with that smart cover that we tried out in the last video, just to see how that works. And it fits perfectly. Yeah, of course. You open it, there you go, close it, there you go. So let's go ahead and remove that and uh, try out the pencil real quick. It's just a quick video to check it out. 130 bucks, of course, you know if you if you need it, you're gonna end up paying for it anyway. And I just dropped everything over here to the right, but we'll leave it like that. So it should be connected already. Apple showed off a feature where if you just tap on the screen, it opens the notes app and there we go, instant notes, okay. And uh, yeah, we can just draw away and uh, hmm. Yeah, feels pretty good. I don't think it feels really any different to the previous version. So let me double tap here and it switches to the eraser, double tap. And yeah, that's pretty fast. Yeah, I mean, of course, with the refresh rate on this iPad, it's even better just because I haven't, I like my previous iPad was the original iPad Pro and I checked out the latest iPads from a couple years back, but I didn't end up keeping any of those. So this feels way better than the previous iPad that I had. And uh, yeah, the only thing is that whenever you're drawing and stuff, I do prefer like a matte screen protector on here just for the feeling of when you're drawing on the screen because there's like a, a little weird feeling that you get when you're drawing with this uh, that I'm just not a huge fan of. I mean, it does feel like you're drawing on glass and that it has like a rubber tip. So there's a like some friction there that I'm not like huge fan of. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall it's the Apple Pencil. It's $130 and of course, uh, it's pretty much the best pencil out there for drawing on a tablet and also the most expensive pencil out there for drawing on a tablet. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. I don't think I'm missing anything for the Apple Pencil. Maybe I am missing something to go over with, but uh, uh, yeah, so um, the tablet remains locked if you do this, which is of course makes sense in case anyone were to do that. And uh, yeah, that feature, for the double tap, I'm just checking. Yeah, it definitely only works at this point right here, so. 
It's also not the most comfortable pencil to hold. Like I prefer the feeling of the surface pencil. All right, so as far as first impressions with the pencil, I've just been playing around with it for a little bit. And obviously you can get a feel for a pen or a pencil from using it for just a couple of minutes, just because, I mean, you know, we've been using pencils for like most of our lives. So uh, you know a good pencil or a good feeling pencil when you get one. And the Apple Pencil still just doesn't, it feels a lot better than the previous generation, but it just does not feel uh, good enough just yet. It's a little longer than your average pencil and uh, it's also just a little thinner, which makes it harder to hold. Like this Surface Pen right here feels so good in the hand and it's so nicely balanced and I just love the way that it feels and to draw it just feels uh, more natural and better. And of course you have that eraser on the back where you can just flip it over and erase. While the Apple Pencil doesn't have that, but of course they added that double tap. So if you're drawing and stuff, you can double tap and erase and it works really well. So that's nice. And uh, you know, I guess it's a pro that you don't have to flip it over. However, of course, we all love flipping it over and erasing, which is very natural. So I'm guessing we we might get that with the third gen Apple Pencil, who knows? But uh, yeah, just $130, not super comfortable hold. Ergonomics have not improved. Definitely better than the previous generation. Has a flat bottom here, so you can leave it on a table or just attach it to the side to wirelessly charge. You don't have to carry around any cables or anything. No removing any caps doesn't come with extra nibs from what I saw here. And uh, that is the second generation Apple Pencil. If you guys have any specific questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, or you can reach out to me on Twitter and I will get back to you there as well. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.